Biker TV is brought to you by Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Congrats on the new location. Custom Creations, Cycle and Ink, Cambridge, Nova Scotia. Wasp Cam. Film, edit, share, prove it. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, more Dutch Mason Blues Fest in Truro, Nova Scotia. More artistry and iron motorcycles with Edjo. We're in Sudbury for Rockfest. But first, the Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup, Vancouver Island's biggest biker bash. A second year in a row for their run here in Cumberland and second year in a row I, uh, I won best in show which is truly unbelievable and quite an honor. Uh, well organized event and uh, great people here. It's an 09 Softail Custom. Uh, actually rebuilt it twice. This is the result of the second build. Uh, since last year this is uh, a new addition, uh, handmade by myself, and that's the only thing that's changed about the bike. I like to paint realistically, so I'm always trying to incorporate that into my work. Where all, all the I'll take photos, say of my own hand, in the right lighting that I want to represent the hand of a demon on the bike. So I get the lighting right and all the little features that are, that are in a real hand, right? Just to help out with that. It's more and more people all the time, a lot more interest all the time, and there's more vendors. So it just keeps getting better. the right for dad in Vancouver Island we've done for five years now and one of the things special about our group is all the money we raise here stays on the island and we've been very fortunate we've uh, given some money to the BC uh, Cancer Research Center in Victoria the Trev Devi Center and they announced to us they've just made a major breakthrough with prostate cancer due to the right for dad funds and there'll be a major national announcement coming up Next year will be June the 6th out of Slag Lumber in Cumberland, which is just outside Courtney. And then we usually put on our breakfast and lunch, and then we have a polka run. I'm just so happy with the turnout. I just couldn't be happier. So many thanks to people that came today. There's a myth behind Debbie's madness. Men looking for women in shorts, cold beer on a hot day. Okay, I gotta ask, who's sassy? Who's sassy? All of Everybody? us. Everybody? All of us. <laughs> the girls want to hear her. The guys are being the gods. I know the Olympic 
committee's yeah. watching this pretty closely oh, because uh, this is a bigger event than the Olympics this okay. year. So apparently we got an interview. That's pretty exciting. Well, I'm hoping to make it. Best of luck. Are you ready? In one, two, three, go! Okay, what's going on here today? Not much. Whoa. Just hanging out, watching the bike games. After the break, artistry and iron motorcycles with Ed Joe. We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, a, in an authorized Harley-Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley-Davidson training. The sky's the limit. Spady Transport. Now hiring owner operators. Join today and work for the very best. Now hiring owner operators. Spady Transport. Dragon Jeans, what Biker TV rides in. Protect your assets. Dragon Jeans. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. That's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Welding techniques, training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Tilbury Auto Sales RV Yamaha. One stop shop. Over 300 units in stock. RVs, power sports, autos, Yamaha. Financing for everyone. TilburyAutoSales.com. Closed captioning by. The Ryan Villapoto Bike Charity Auction. Support Radio for Radiation. Here with Biker TV and just brought out a few of the, the old artistry and iron collection of some of the more vintage bikes that we have and uh, there they are, and this is the old show. This is the original 1980 trailer that we used to go across Canada and please a lot of people, but we're sort of bringing every note in the open and starting to expose things again, and Biker TV was one of the first to be invited to film some of the bikes that we have. So enjoy yourself. 
Artistry in Iron was sort of started because uh, 1980 Harley Davidson threw a show in Daytona Beach called Artistry in Iron. And uh, I set my bike down there and competed against 100 other bikes and won the title of the, sh the show. And they didn't renew it next year, so I thought the title should be mine. So I stuck with the title and used that to display. Every time I displayed my bikes, I call them the Artistry in Iron display. Well, the truck started off 11 and a half feet high, went down to Toronto to the automotive building, measured the back door, it was 10 feet high. So I had to cut a foot and a half off the trailer and lower it all down so it get inside there. And uh, I sort of built the truck mainly to do Toronto shows. The next thing I know, I got invited out west to Calgary and Vancouver and I had to ship the truck out there and have it towed around from Edmonton to Calgary to Vancouver and move it around there and came back and did a lot of shows with Conklin, the circus people, and enjoyed that. And then sort of put the truck into retirement. I just couldn't afford a better truck that I needed to pull it to rig around and everything just seemed too expensive. The truck I had kept breaking down. It cost me more money to get to a show and fix the truck. And it was taken away from me being at the shop and didn't like that idea. So I sort of, as the truck deteriorated, I took the bikes out of it and just put them inside and let the truck keep deteriorating. I think that uh, anybody that's seen uh, the collection of bikes really likes it and don't figure it's ever drawn any negativity and people look forward and come from all over the world at times to see it. They've seen me on TV or heard the mention of the bikes and they've hunted me down through the internet or whatever, or got in touch with me and asked to see them and I've always taken them and showed them the collection. After the break, more Dutch Mason Blues Fest in Truro, Nova Scotia. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs. Artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. World class plowing match. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. 12 gauge customs. Award winning custom trucks and big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call. 12 gauge customs. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. Biker TV is brought to you by Hip Cycle, where Biker TV goes. Creative Chaos Tattoo, not for the weak of heart. Flat Track Canada. Docks Leathers, criminally insane prices. The CMDRA, drag racing action. Atlantic Canada's largest motorcycle rally, the Wharf Rat Rally. 
Digby, Nova Scotia. In 2005, Dutch Mason, who happens to be Norman Byron Mason, known internationally as Canada's Prime Minister of the Blues, was presented the Order of Canada, which is the highest medal that Canada has to offer. He also has won every music award that Canada has, and he was the first inductee in the Canadian Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There's probably about 2,000 musicians in Canada that owe Dutch Mason their start, and they come here every year and pay tribute to Dutch Mason. The festival embodies Dutch Mason's spirit of allowing new faces to join him on stage throughout his whole career, and we continue that here at the Dutch Mason Blues Festival. We treat everybody the same, and that's what Dutch would want us to do. But this is our first festival out here, so we're excited. Everyone we've met, the whole staff here, all the volunteers, like even the people at the airport. This is just a great part of the country, man. I got a grandmother from Chicago, and when I was younger, she showed me Muddy Waters records. And that really kind of changed how I thought about and approached music and songwriting and mainly like storytelling. And Clay and I from day one, that's been a big focus, is just about making sure. If the story behind the song is solid, we know we can make the song cool, but we gotta have the story there first. So really, that's, that's what blues is to me. Pretty cool hearing all the stories about people who've met Dutch and played with Dutch. So man, like, being here, is, it's a riot. First time here, great people. The organizers are excellent, it's awesome. Beautiful bikes, uh, makes me drool. <laughs> I drive a, uh, a boulevard and uh, I tell you, some of these Harleys in here are uh, awesome, really awesome looking bikes. And anybody likes bikes, tell you, come down to the bike tent and you won't be sorry, that's for sure. A lot of people are traveling for, for the music and then they get to uh, take a look at the bikes too. Shop is uh, getting really busy. Uh, we get lots of recurring uh, customers, which is fantastic. Uh, we're getting uh, lots of service, lots of repairs. We're doing tires. Uh, recently purchased um, a powder coating unit. So we do all the powder coating in house now. So. Uh, when we build a bike or if we do um, forks, handlebars, uh, we're manufacturing our own uh, handlebars as well. We do uh, custom Springer front ends too, so we do two, two different kinds of handlebars and um, like a Sportster Springer. My name's Steve Mariner, I play with Monkey Junk. We're from Ottawa, Ontario. We love playing out east, and so it's been really great to come back, to get together and pass tunes around, and everyone jams on each other's tunes, and it's, uh, it's a pretty common thing, and it's all, always a great element of festivals that we like, because you get to make new friends, and just get to hear what other people are doing. And it's just such honest music, you know, it comes straight from the heart, and, uh, it's, it's timeless kind of, you know, it, it's always stories about the human condition and stuff that pretty well everyone can relate to. And uh, it's just played with such feeling, you know, like all the masters like Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf and B.B. King and John Lee Hooker, those guys, they're, the, they're kind of what I started getting into when I was into blues at the beginning. But, you know, it's um, just, you gotta have this burning desire to play it and it just comes out of you, you know. Blue 
blues musicians, and I can even speak on behalf of James Cotton, who was homeless himself at one time, always on the verge of being homeless. Musicians, you know, we live day to day. In spirit of that, we have a local charity that we help support the homeless shelter. It's a great organization, and it's a great cause, and that's 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 something that uh, Dutch, it was dear to Dutchie's heart. He always liked to help somebody, and and everybody knows what it's like to be down, you know. And in Canada, every you know they say now 30% of us are one paycheck away from, you know being in that kind of situation. So it's great to support shelters that help people. After the break, we're in Sudbury for Rockfest. Dragon Jeans, the authentic motorcycle jeans. Biker TV rides safe in Dragon Jeans. Dragon Jeans, what's covering your butt? Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the road on Biker TV. Ontario Truck Driving School. Your path to success. Training for your future. Thousands of jobs. Ontario Truck Driving School. Biker TV is brought to you by Universal Cycle. We don't just sell motorcycles, we sell motorcycling. The CMDRA, drag racing action. Conquer Motorcycles. Classic Vintage Motorcycles at Dream Cycles. Kane's Harley-Davidson, complete sales and service. Enjoy the ride, we'll take care of the rest. Challenger Motor Freight, now hiring owner operators, drivers, apprentices, and licensed mechanics. Challenger Motor Freight, our people, our strength, our future. Rock Harley Davidson bought the store July 2nd with my partner Mark Lepke and it's been a living the dream ever since. It's really important to all of us here that uh, we give back to, to the communities of our whole DMA and, and uh, make things right for the people that uh, could use the help. It's all about fun, family and, and getting together and, and doing the right thing. All the ages of Harleys and all the motorcycles are showing up. It's a great history of motorcycles out here right now. They're all good rides on a good day. Even when you get wet, you got something to laugh about when you get home and have a cold beer. I'm riding an 82 uh, Honda Nighthawk. I picked this Nighthawk up uh, near Lake Lake five years ago. It had uh, 6,000 kilometers on it for $2,000, and I got 52,000 on it right now. I don't worry what it really costs to run, I just kick the tires, check the oil and fill her up with gas and go. We've been really fortunate and, and we've gone on a lot of trips and been a lot of, lot of places. But you know, the, the biggest thing is the people that you meet and the, all over the world and all the different nationalities and 
It, it's just, it's amazing how people come together and, and it's just one big brotherhood. My name's Doug Welch out of Sudbury, Ontario. Uh, I'm doing a little ride for my best friend, Glenn Cobb, that passed away in October of last year. Glenny's cousin, Chris, the owner of the famous Bare Bones Chopper out of Aurelia. Uh, this bike is a complete done from one end to the other, stage four decompressors. Thing hauls the mail, this hound dog hunts. I'm uh, totally in debt to my buddy for letting me take this, representing him and his family and the Cobbs. I love you, man, take care. This is our meeting place for our road trip that we're about to go on. Sturges, baby! I have a 1995 Sportster, and uh, it's been seriously modified because I'm 5'2", so anything has to be modified when you're 5'2". And uh, when I got it, it was uh, it's an XL, so it was like the highest stance possible. So I had to lower the front end, put 11-inch um, shocks on the back. It originally had 13. Um, then I had to add these handlebars. They had big buckhorn handlebars. I could barely reach it. It's a 2010 XL like Christie's. Three weeks ago it was an 883. Now it's got a little more jam. I did uh, bigger cams and pistons and a big fork 1200 kit with a race tuner. So yeah, it's awesome. We'll return safe. Don't worry, we will be unchanged. We're both from the Valcaran area, which is not too far from Sudbury, maybe 20 minutes up the road. We're here as part of the Hog Chapter to help raise money for Kicks for Kids. And they're trying to raise enough money to open up a neo room, I suppose, for the children here at the hospital so that they, they want to raise money to make it more like a bedroom style for the children that are coming in for treatments with couches and lounges for the parents so that the whole family's together. And yesterday, today was a outstanding outstanding for our fundraising we're going with the highway stuff first we're going to go to uh, highway 17 uh, going east and we're going out to a little town called the Bing and then uh, there's a nice uh, two-lane uh, road uh, that takes us from highway 17 back across to highway 69 which is just north of the French River that's my bike it's a it's an it's an 09 ultra classic red hot sun glow and uh, smoky gold is the color and uh, it's I love the bike. It's a great bike. The big bikes are so comfortable to ride that you can put the long days in and not feel tired at the end. Get on a bike, it's fun. <laughs> but only, not our kids, I'm too scared for them. But anyways, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we just want to say hello to our kids. And uh, they're men actually, they're not kids. But anyway, someday there probably will be Harley riders too. I can see that in their future for sure. Doesn't matter how old you are, you gotta ride a bike at least once or twice in your life. And doesn't matter what brand. As long as they got two wheels and an engine, they're still a motorcycle. Maybe even three wheels nowadays. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Two wheels, good enough for Biker TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at bikertv.ca. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Next week on Biker TV. Steve Drain, Harley Davidson. More Dutch Mason Blues Fest in Truro, Nova Scotia. More Artistry and Iron Motorcycles with Edjo. We're back at the Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup, Vancouver Island's biggest biker bash. Biker TV is brought to you by Lucas Oil Motorcycle Products. Made in America, sold to the world. Lucid Customs Motorcycle Garage. Complete motorcycle service, sales and customs. Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport.